Hey everybody, we're back down here in the secret underground laboratory of Bola Chili's World Headquarters looking at gear for the Festive 500, which starts tomorrow. The forecast for the Festive 500 is looking pretty grim this week. So we're going to start off by looking at some of the gear that I plan to use to uh, complete the challenge for the Festive 500. First thing is Castelli's Alpha ROS jacket. ROS stands for rain or shine. <clears throat> this jacket is fully waterproof but it also has a lot of insulation. Uh, Castelli rates it down to about 20 degrees. I would uh, I would say that's probably fairly accurate. You can see some of the things it has. It has tape seams on the uh, on the shoulders here, so it doesn't let water through. On the inside, you can see that there is a, a second layer to the jacket. So you can undo the shell part, and the insulated part still stays zipped. It's really warm for uh, cold weather days. Um, the only downside is above about 40 degrees. That seems like a lot of overkill. For days when it's slightly warmer, we have the Castelli Perfetto jacket. The Perfetto uses the same outer shell, which is uh, Gore-Tex Infinium, but it, uh, it doesn't have the interior layer for the, uh, for the extra insulation. This one here is good up to about 55 degrees and down to about freezing for me. Um, again, it's got the, uh, the tape seams, a lot of the same features as the Alpha IRS, just without the insulated middle layer. To keep our feet warm, we have Castelli's Estremo shoe covers. They're, uh, they're super warm. Again, it's Gore-Tex Infinium, you can see here, but it's got a layer of insulation on like other shoe covers. I've never seen any like this, but I can tell you that at about 32 degrees, where I've ridden them the coldest, they're plenty warm. We'll see how they do down into the uh, low 20s. Now we have gloves to match the shoe covers, also called Estremo. Also, they feature the Gore-Tex Infinium fabric on the outside with a lot of insulation, nice nose wipe, and a really good grip on the uh, palm. For the lower half of our body, we got some pants made by Sportful. They're actually cross-country ski pants, but I'm going to try them for, uh, for cycling. They're pretty, a pretty tight fit. I don't think they're going to have any problems that way, but they're uh, an extra layer of warmth, and uh, I'm going to give them a go. Um, they're called the Sportful Explore pants. They feature this uh, kind of hard... Uh, tough fabric at the bottom here and they're water resistant and windproof last but not least we have the uh the vittoria polar shoes um these are proven for me now i'm a, a big believer in these if it gets super nasty this is what i'm going to go to <clears throat> okay here we go day one strava festive 500 it's about 32 degrees out it's supposed to get colder as the day goes on it's christmas eve and we're off Today we're just going to ride on the Lakelands Trail before dark, or before it's light out, I mean. We got, it's Christmas Eve, got a bunch of Christmas stuff to do later, so this is not ideal, but got to do what you got to do. I should have wore a hat. Okay, so we're at the Lakelands Trail. The plan is to ride two laps from Pinkney to Portmore Lake and back. Should be about 80k or so. <clears throat> That'll be a good start. This bridge has got some ice on it. Not, again, not ideal. That's better.
Okay, riding day number two of the Festive 500. We're, uh, got a little bit of an unexpected snow. Not a ton, only about two inches, but enough to make it so I'm not really wanting to ride the road bike. Again, not ideal, but we're gonna see what we can do. So the original plan today was to get about 100K on the road. The original forecast was 40 degrees and no snow. But uh, here we are, make the best of what we have here. Uh, so the new plan is to get about 25 or 30 miles. Uh, hope we can do that today, but we're gonna have to make up the difference later. The forecast does say that it's supposed to be warmer later in the week. We'll see what happens. Uh, stay tuned. <clears throat> Looks like the lake is still not frozen over. Kind of surprised by that. It was really cold last night. was frozen over I could burn some fast laps around the lake and rack up some miles quickly but no dice <clears throat> so it looks like we got maybe two inches of snow which isn't very much, but it's enough to make the roads uh, kind of suck. And the, uh, being at Christmas and all, the plow guys probably aren't out there, so. We'll make the best of it. Come to think of it, torn shirt's probably not the easiest way to rack up miles either. Okay, day four. Uh, it's warmed up a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Should make for a nice sloppy day today. Gonna try and get some big, uh, big miles. I got some ground to make up. Need to make about 100K today if I have any hope of making this challenge work. Stay tuned. Okay. Supposed to be meeting up with a little group out of Ann Arbor here from Wheels of Motion. Not sure if we missed them or not. Probably not. It's only 1218, so we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm starting to have my doubts if we're gonna meet up with Travis and the gang from Wheels of Motion. They could be running late. Hey, crap! And here I thought this was a group ride. Wow, 
was having my doubts. What's that? What's up? I was having my doubts. Yeah? You guys start late? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yes, so we have two mountain bikes. Yeah. So. Alright. We're going very chill. This wind is definitely better going this way. Yeah. Uh, coming down to meet you guys. It was brutal coming up Mass Road. Really nice yeah. Christmas Eve morning, I decided I was going to start the uh, Festive 500, you know, yeah. and uh, right? yeah, yeah. <sighs> and it was cooling off. I started riding about 7 a.m., 7.30 maybe, and it was 35, and by 8.30 or 9, it was like 25, so I had all this ice frozen on my bike, huh. and it was like dragging on the tires, so they would barely spin. It was a super, I was looking at the forecast and it was a super weird day. That was totally weird. Yeah. 50 degrees at 1 in the morning. Yeah. And at 22 by 10 o'clock. Yeah. <sighs> they had to knock a bunch of ice off this bike uh, this morning <laughs> to get it to go.
they got? <laughs> Dax, you don't even know me, do you? I know you, Dax. Oh, all right. Is he rolling now? Okay, here we are, day five of the Strava Festive 500. Uh, it's another, another tough one. It's cold, a little bit drizzly, maybe 35 degrees of drizzle. The goal today, again, will be 100K. Uh, got it done yesterday. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> so I don't know if you can see the ice on the bike path here it's a little bit sketchy just a little you might get to see me wipe out <clears throat> apparently there's some people that hate their kids out here I'm trying to freeze them to death how you doing I'm not sure if it's going to come on the camera or not, but it's sleeting right now. It kind of feels like I'm getting sandblasted in the face with broken glass. I'm not sure if somebody's trying to tell me something. I'm not quite sure what it is. They are. Maybe it's God trying to tell me he hates me. Okay, this next part could be pretty shitty. It's a uh, potential for a lot of mud. The connection behind the JC Penny here to get an eye on the lake. We'll see what happens. Oh. Oh. 
Ok, nada mal para eso. Ok. So the roads here in the park are a little bit more sheltered, like I hope. But they haven't exactly been cleared. So if this refreezes, I'm going to be stuck. about it for today gonna end up the day with about a little over 100k okay here we are day six the festive 500 <clears throat> right now I'm sitting at about 266 kilometers so that means I got three days hit another 237 would be pretty easy but uh, tonight there's a big snowstorm coming in. So I could uh, put a kibosh on tomorrow. So I gotta bang out a lot of miles today. It's pretty cold. I'm guessing probably 25 degrees. But I'm bundled up. Got warm clothes on. And uh, we're gonna go for it. So right up here is there something I think is kind of funny. They just made this nice new bike path last summer. And it's great. It goes almost up to the parking ride up here. So people could actually use it. But Green Oak Township and their infinite wisdom didn't want to do anything to help out Webster Township. So they left the bike path short by about three feet going up to the road here. So they could not do a favor for uh, Webster Township to connect it. It's just really stupid, in my opinion. But you'll see it up here. You see the white sign up there that says uh, path ends. Could have easily connected it. Made a crosswalk that went across the road. And it could go over to that park and ride right there. So if people wanted to catch a ride someplace, they could ride their bike there and lock it up. But instead, they did this. Look at that. That's just pettiness at its most extreme level. We did it up here at the other end too. I'll show you that one too. Okay, so we're coming up on the other end of the bike path. They did the exact same thing. They left it about five feet from the road. Five feet from making it actually a useful piece of infrastructure because the township supervisor, ultimately it's his responsibility, doesn't see the benefit of having connected bike paths in the community. See the sign there says path ends. Yeah, look at that road. It's right there. Right there. Oh well. I guess see, you get what you pay for in local government. pretty good about today I got it. looks like I'll have about 72 miles when I get home I think that's 116 kilometers okay here it is day seven fast at 500 looks like today is the day that I'm paying for uh, riding a fat bike on uh, day three I really wish I'd have gotten some more uh, 
couple miles that day. It's about 40 degrees, it's raining sideways, it snowed last night, so everything's a mess. I guess uh, this is where I really earned the stupid one inch by one inch patch. Uh, I think I'm just going to ride on the Lakeland Trail, maybe a lap or two. Uh, still about 120k short of goal. I don't want to have to ride 120k tomorrow. Oh man, this is a mess. Uh, well, I guess it's not that bad. Don't want to ride 120k tomorrow. I'd love to be able to split it today. Uh, we'll see what happens. Sloppy, slush, gross. Can't believe there's been this many people walking out here today. Can't believe all their cars broke down. The good news is I'm already 3K into the ride, so it means only 57 to go. A little bit tired from yesterday. Got about 100 and, I don't know, 115 k or something like that. Got a fairly hard pace, so kind of feeling it today. But I wanted to get an extra mile, so I didn't have to ride that much today. Which I think is probably a smart choice on my part. Okay, so I just made the turnaround at Pinckney. I guess I'm about as cold as I'm gonna get. I'm gonna see if I can't stick it out a little bit longer than I had planned. That way I don't have to ride as much tomorrow. I'm uh, kinda concerned this path is gonna freeze. And there's not a really good way out of the neighborhood, so we'll see what happens. I really can't say enough about this Perfetto jacket that I have on. It's been pretty flawless in range of conditions from about 28 to 40 in rain. I'm a big fan. So I hope you can see that. My headset, I think, is had a case of diarrhea. I'm fairly sure it's not supposed to do that. Might have to look into that later. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but I actually feel pretty good. Normally after 200 miles in three days, I'd be a little bit tired, but honestly, I feel better now than I did on day one. Uh, I'm not sure what the, what the thing is, but I like it. Look at that sky. two of the weather coming here. Not so nice. Okay, so today is the last day of Strava's Festive 500 Challenge. I'm at about 431 kilometers now. That means I need about 69 uh, to go. Overall, it's a decent day. It's about 28 degrees out, but it's not raining, it's not snowing, no earthquakes, nothing like that. So, should go fairly well. We'll see what happens.
New Year's Eve. So I gotta make some uh, make some food tonight. Uh, having a little thing with the fam here. Looking forward to taking a day off tomorrow. I think I'm bundled up the warmest I've been all week. Just because I'm tired, I think. <clears throat> I don't want to get cold. Hopefully the path up here is not too treacherous. I gotta say my bike is hit after this week. Well, seven days of just riding in crap weather. <clears throat> Everything on it sucks. Needs a bath. I think I'll probably tear a whole thing down and uh, rebuild it over the next week or so. You guys, your wolf is acting up. like the path has dried off. That's pretty good. Of course we got a dog with no leash on. Hey. Pretty much every ride I do starts and finishes on this path, on the road bike anyways. Uh, a good easy way to get out of town. Today's ride is going to be standard here on River Drive. Pretty common ride. How you doing? Good. Looks like the lakes have all finally frozen over, so that's good. Uh, but still no snow.
Not good, not good. Also not good. Well, either holds or it doesn't. I think this first battery here is about to die. I'll just say, got two punctures in my back tire. The sealant appears to be holding right now. Hopefully, seeing this out loud won't jinx that. But uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get the valve out if I have to put a tube in. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, this all goes well. About 20K into this ride. So that means another 50 to go. No, yeah, about 50 to go. And uh, that'll be it. Okay, so I just put another battery in the GoPro. Uh, just a minute ago, I saw local celebrity Alexi Vermeulen riding up the road. That was before I stopped. I'm gonna see if I can catch him. I wish I'm a happy new year. Hey, dude. We'll talk on the path. I didn't know it was really kind of a little dog. <laughs> well, he tries hard. How you been? How's Christmas? That was good. How about you? Nice to have everybody home. Yeah, are you back? Uh, are you out in Colorado full time now? or? Yeah. No, I thought we fly back on, uh, on Sunday. Oh, Sophie, okay. James, James, Sophie. Hey, Sophie. I feel like I know you from Strava. <laughs> uh, fly back home Sunday. Um, yeah, we fly home Sunday. And uh -huh. just, it's, it's been nice. Vincent, it was just, that was an easy day. Vincent goes back to school on Sunday too. Yeah. In Montreal. Uh huh. Um, yeah, he's up at, uh, what's that school called? Uh, McGill. McGill, yeah. Yeah. And they don't have, uh, they don't have full classes, but he has, I call it classes are still online. Uh huh. He's majoring in chemistry, so he oh, God. Still have labs. Oh, yeah. For, for special students. Yeah. 
we really got, really got a, uh, like a sleeping bag insert for the Oh yeah. Yeah. For Christmas, so uh huh. Ride was that on his list or? It was on his list. Yeah. Be it's careful, I have a leak in my tire that's gonna spray you with sealant maybe. Oh, gotcha. You want a patch? I got a plug. I'll get home. This is my last ride of the Festive 500 and. You get it done? Well, I'm about eight miles from having it. I'll have it done before I get home. That's awesome. I think my next ride will be on one of those. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Treated to a glorious day to end it off. You know, it's better than yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I played some hockey. Fell in the train. Fell in the train. Yeah. What's, uh, what's the big goals for this year? Um, kind of the same as expected. I mean, glad to go to Canada. Love yeah. to walk the ride. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. I don't, really, like, I don't think our season's going to... I think by June you'll be back in full full uh, full yeah, speed. Yeah, it's only gonna be full until May. Yeah. So then you have question marks over things like sea otters, uh -huh. big events that are in California. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, like Yeah, I mean the reality is like the only race people care about are those big races uh, right. in America and so. stuff. Right. It's just, just racing just so tricky city. Right. Like one city says yes, one city says no. Right. And it's much more obviously it's much more likely to happen to places like. Yeah, I'm not getting you. I'm not... Okay. Okay. I was trying to hit you. <sighs> no, I'm afraid of hitting her with tire sealant. Yeah. I mean, snot. I'll blast anybody with snot. You know that. <laughs> I, I went. Uh, I went like bled for brakes with a friend. Uh huh. And I never worked on tram shit. Uh huh. And I went into Brad at uh, Sick Transit. Yeah. He was helping me out. Uh huh. He was, oh yeah, like can do the tram stuff. It's caustic. Like it gets on like your skin. Like it'll yeah, get. it's dot fluid. Yeah. Yep. I was like oh, interesting. That's I'm glad I didn't to try to do it myself. I came home, tell Sophie about it. The next day I'm on, like doing tempo on the mountain bike, which is like directly in my draft. Uh-huh. And I had a big blowout and seal them everywhere. She's oh, like, God. she thought she had caustic dot fluid all over. Oh, it's not it's not that bad. No. I mean if it if it hits you, you can wash it off, but yeah, yeah. it'll take the paint off of stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, it's just funny. I when I go, I go like, yeah. Oh yeah, that was kind of funny. <laughs> well sealant is harder to get off, I can tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it was like, I don't know, man. I I love feeling. Yeah. I have not had that much luck with it in road tires. Really? Man, yeah. I've, uh. I still use it. Uh, it's just such a big pain for me. I think this is my third tire this year, my rear tire, third tire. Yeah. And I've worn them all down to the casing. I think I've had one flat. That's pretty Which, of course, now that I said it out loud. <laughs> Yeah, I can't I'm imagine. Be able to ride Pato, but I oh yeah, you skate Pato. You could skate it if you wanted to. Uh, so they went out. My brother and Sophie went out and ran it the other day, and they were like, "Yeah, no." <laughs> yeah, you would almost need like. Uh, I know Solomon makes shoes with studs on them. Yeah, no, they had like yak track stuff. Yeah. Where are you from, Sophie? Um, I'm from Adelaide, so close. Oh, you're kind of far from home. Uh, you're pretty far from home then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Otherwise, family's doing well though? Everybody's good, yeah. My uh, kids are. Way better adapted to online. online? You know, they started out this year, they were going four days a week. Yeah. And then Friday was online. 
which was awesome because it was like a three-day weekend every weekend and then uh my wife is a nurse and so on thanksgiving she started freaking out because the numbers were crazy yeah. so we made them virtual yeah. and i think they'll go back whenever the third marking period starts yeah. like january 20th or something but the kids want to go back or oh god yeah I was gonna say. as much as they bitch about school yeah they're bored out of their minds school yeah that were holidays yeah oh. great to catch up yeah you too i'm gonna go right here you go left oh, we're gonna right here. Oh, okay Let's go left here all right man see yeah good seeing you have a uh, good ride good new year. yeah you too have a happy new year safe trip home yeah. bye nice meeting you Was nice. 